So this week on the farm, we got a nice break in weather. We decided it was time to build some field tunnels. So we ordered two kits off of Farmer's Friends LLC. I'll put their link in um, these this video notes. Their plans come with a strap that leads to a tie down on either end of the hoops, but for our purposes, a doorway is a better option. So we decided that we would need to build end walls. So I'm gonna take you along and show you how we did that using their hoop system. So the first step in building our end walls on these hoops is to attach a one by four. So we've attached this one by four, it's a seven foot long one by four from about 11 inches off the ground up to the near the top of the hoop. They're attached with one and a half inch tapping screws. This is gonna give us a good base to hang our header from where we can construct our door off of. So we've got our header cut. We've angled both ends so that it'll fit up into a up into the 1x4s and now we're going to anchor this header through the 1x4s with 3 inch screws. Alright so we've got our header up and we've made the taken the extra step to make sure that it's level and now I'm just going to sink the final screw up in here. To anchor it in. Alright now that we've got the header secure we went ahead and measured across found the center and then measured two feet out from that center to make a, for a four foot wide door. Now we went down and we dug large holes to sink our door frame into. So that door frame consists of two pressure treat two by fours. Once we get them nice and leveled off, we're gonna go ahead and fill those holes back in to secure them at the base and secure them at the top with screws. Uh, you could secure them at the base with concrete if you choose or gravel, um, anything that will keep them nice and sturdy and from moving around too much. So the last piece of framing that we're going to do on these end walls is to put up a cross brace between that 1x4 and the 2x4 leg to the door. And this is basically just going to allow us an anchor spot to put in some wiggle wire so that we can attach the plastic to the front of this frame. But it's just a 2x4 with an angled cut and we're just going to sink the screws through both sides after making sure that it's level so that we have that extra face. In order to attach the plastic to this end wall, we used channel lock. So we put attached channel lock all the way onto this last hoop up and over. And then I'm gonna finish up by attaching it to the end wall. In total, it took us 24 feet of channel lock to cover the end hoop as well as this front wall. So I'm gonna use this a self tacking screw and we're just gonna attach the final piece of So one other thing um, that we added on these hoops is we just put down this one by rail that's about two and a half feet off the ground. Just is gonna give us a little bit more stability for this field where the winds get a little bit more aggressive than they do on the other field. One last thing that we did on these hoops structurally is we added this one by four cross brace that's anchored at the side or at the end wall and then also down against the first hoop. Down there we've cut out a V from the one by four and just ink, kind of set it in there. That'll give us a little bit more stability on the ends since the rope is tying them down. It, it has a tendency to pull in. So this is just gonna brace them to stay out. We're at the point where we've gotten the plastic pulled on the hoop and secured. We took a separate piece of plastic and just drop sheeted it on the front side here and then um, attached it again with that wiggle wire. Um, we use one inch tapping screws to get that channel attached to the frame and we've built just some simple one by framed doors and of course plastic them. We're gonna hinge them, hinge hang them onto the inside of the door frame after we cut the plastic out and then we'll be set. So I'm just gonna cut all the way on the inside of the door frame. I'm gonna leave about an inch and a half or two inches of an overhang, but I'm gonna cut the corners out so that the door will hang in. That'll give me just like a little bit of a flap of extra plastic to insulate that, that door. So the last part of this project was to install latches on each of the doors, just obviously so that we can latch them, keep them nice and secure. You'll notice that we also left the plastic a little bit wide on each of the door sides so that we can kind of cover that gap and help to insulate the house that much better. Uh, we 
overall in this conversion from the hoop house to a uh, end wall greenhouse with a door for access. Uh, we spent about $150 per hoop, so $75 for each end wall, including materials, uh, hardware for both the end wall as well as the internal bracing. Uh, we are going to be using these hoop houses to extend our season early in the spring and later in the fall. So lots of beautiful flowers are going to get grown in these hoop houses. I hope that you'll check back in and uh, see what we've got growing later in the season. So thanks for swinging by the farm. We'll see you next time.